imagine. Good morning to you. Welcome back to uh, Entrepreneurship Tuesday. It's Y in the morning at Y254 channel is where you can reach out to us across all our social media uh, platform. And right now, I'd like you to head on to our Facebook page. And we have a question for you. We are asking, how can you raise money to start a business? How can you raise your money? Can you raise money to start a business? Remember, if you already have a business running, you can tell us a little bit of tips here and there, how you raised your initial capital. And if you intend to get into business equally, you can tell us how you're planning to go about getting your capital. Uh, at Y254 channel is where you can find us on our Twitter handle. At Michelle Ashira is where you can find me. So right about now, this session, you're looking into the tourism sector and how it has been affected uh, by COVID-19. Remember that uh, uh, tourism accounts for about 10% uh, of Kenya's economy and employs more than 1 million uh, people directly so, and 90% uh, of uh, uh, this particular hospitality facilities right now have been shut down. So that means loss of jobs and uh, earnings at the same uh, time. So uh, with me, I have a lovely, amazing uh, young entrepreneur known as Masi Wamoyo. She is uh, the founder of Boss Valid Adventures. She'll be taking us through on uh, the journey of tour and travels, high experience, and uh, uh, what the future looks like when it comes to the tourism sector. Thank you very much for creating time, Marcy. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you for having me, Michelle. Absolutely. Uh, my name is Masi Wamoyo Mumbi. I'm the founder and the CEO of Bosveld Adventures. Uh, basically, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll also take you through my journey mm -hmm. uh, in the beginning up to where I've, uh, from where I've come from to where I am right now, uh, before and even post COVID and during uh, the COVID affair. Okay. So I'm ready and willing to give you the information that you require for the show. Absolutely. I'm so sure guys back at home, they are looking forward towards this interview and get informed. And just for the people who are planning for uh, getaways, vacation, uh, trips. So uh, Masi Wamoyo is the right person that we have in studio to just talk about matters of tour and travel. So let's start off by finding out eh, okay. how has COVID-19 affected uh, your business as Bozvelit Adventures? Okay, uh, thank you for your question. So this is it. Mm -hmm. uh, so during the COVID, there was a ban, a lockdown. Mm -hmm. And with the lockdown, it means that you can't get access into and out of Nairobi. And Nairobi is the heart of the tourism. This is where we have our market, our main market. Mm -hmm. This is where we have our main clientele. And also, also some of our destinations are outside Nairobi and very few uh, within Nairobi. So for a moment, we just didn't have, uh, we just had to lock down, uh, shut down our offices and services for a while mm -hmm. so that we can see what is laying ahead of us. At the same time, during this COVID, uh, also the traveling and also some of the destinations were, were closed down. Uh, we can say it's Kereta Forest, the mm -hmm. forest. It's famous for the planning and oh, yeah. they have been they have closed for a very long time it's just recently this week uh, they announced that hey we're back oh. so like okay so you can get it that uh it, it was a state of okay i'm, a I'm excited for everyone <laughs> so yes i'm excited that creator for us that have actually opened mm -hmm. up i'm one of the good fun when it comes to zip lining they have the longest zip lining yes. in kenya a very interesting one uh -huh. uh, you know the, the the how how the heart beats when the you adrenaline. Yes, the adrenaline. <laughs> so I must say you're very young, and I'm so sure people back at home can see this. You're very young, and you're already into business. So I'd like to just for you to give us a little bit of a background of mm -hmm. uh, how you ended up uh, starting up uh, uh, this particular business, uh, Bosvelit Adventures, and why Bosvelit Adventures, uh, how the idea came by, and 
how it came to be. Okay, thank you. Uh, so about Bruce World, the, a little bit of background. So, you know, in everything that you do, there's always the picture in the mind. Mm -hmm. And your dream is as big as your eyes can see. So, if at all you see it's, it's possible, mm -hmm. uh, if your eyes can see it's possible and you believe in it, uh, it will just come down someday. So, uh, the first thing in the background, I always knew I would love to become someone. I wouldn't love to be successful. I would love to be significant. Uh, you can mention my name and someone will say, oh yes, I know her. Yes, she did this. So in my whole journey, I have it in mind that uh, I have the idea. I, I should begin because as they say, uh, when you have a ship in the harbor, yes, it's safe. Isn't it safe? Very Michelle? safe. It's very safe. <laughs> yes. But was it meant to be in the harbor? No, no. no it was supposed to not. sail, mm -hmm. right? So the same thing, if you have your idea in mind, you should just convert your dream to become a reality. You should just go ahead and work it out. So that's why I decided to work it out. And when I was working out, I just began, uh, I'll just do it. And uh, the name was Weld. I checked and I saw the names. The first name is a B. I just said a B. Just a B, it, yeah, Kubaz and something. Mm -hmm. So uh, a B is always busy <laughs> and it's very productive. So Boswell Adventures, whatever it takes, it has to be productive. I uh, we went to the, the word O, opportunities. In everything that you do, there's always an opportunity. There's an opportunity for you to become a better person. There's always an opportunity to upgrade your current state to a better one. And then we went to the letter S. The letter S was, I've told you, don't, uh, yes, I'll be successful, mm -hmm. but I'd love to be significant. significant. Yeah. So, yes, S is for significant. So, this Boswell affair, you have to be significant. When you say Boswell, someone can get and say, yes, I need Boswell. Uh, I have done it with them. I, I want to do it with them because uh, they have something. You get it? Uh, and then we went to the letter V. You know, there's always a vision behind everything. And because you have a vision, that's why, uh, despite the setbacks, you'll still rise, uh, you shake the dust, the mud, and you just decide, I'll, I'll just, I'll just sail through, you get it? Okay. So that was a V, and A was for effort. Behind everything that is successful in this world, you need to work for it. You need to show a little bit of effort. You need to wake up that, you need to have that early morning. You need to have that late evening. So that was it. Mm -hmm. And for the L was leadership. Mm -hmm. In everything that you do, you just have to be your own leader so that you can influence other people to be, to follow you. Yes, and then for our day became determination. In everything that you do, just be determined. So both well, we determined to offer the very best of services and the word adventures. You know, adventure is just a departure to an unknown place. And our tagline, tag okay. yeah, our tagline is that. departure into unknown lands. Mm. Now the adventures is, uh, is, a su is the main subject to the subtitle, the departure into unknown lands. Okay. Yes. So uh, just listening to you while speaking, uh, it just came out like you know you knew what you wanted. The, the whole vision you just painted the whole picture for someone who is watching and they want to get into any sort of business and they have the idea, right? But now you know it's easier said than done. Mm -hmm. Yes. What was like, just like a tip mm -hmm. that made you form just the paper to actually actualizing whatever idea you had? Okay. Uh, okay, the first thing, uh, you already have it. Mm -hmm. You have the idea. Mm -hmm. The next step is to make it into a reality. Just, okay, uh, I think don't look if you have the money mm -hmm. because you have two important things when you don't have money. In entrepreneurship, it's about three things. It's about the effort, it's about the time, and it's about the money. Sometimes money can be a constraint, but you have the effort and the time. And in many businesses that we get into, not all require money. Some of them just require, uh, I come to Michelle, I tell Michelle, uh, I want you to give me this discount, mm -hmm. and then uh, I'll go to a client, and then I'll get some commission from you. <coughs> that, that is also part of business. So the very first thing is accept it. 
take a step uh just believe in yourself that you got this and you can do it it doesn't matter what you lack in or what you what you think will be a constraint ahead the best thing is that you just live in your present just believe you can do it just wake up just make a step the very first thing you know many people feel a, a, an entrepreneur is very different from any other person because you took a step just uh, however simple if we'll on, only like reach out to only one person, the best thing is you made the step. That alone is enough to give you uh, another, another, like a foundation to get to the next step. There's no way you'll say you you've not like uh, you have the idea. And uh, I just wanted to be, be uh, to become a big picture. <laughs> well, right now you're just sitting on the idea and, and saying I want stories. it. Yes, and telling the story. You know, one day I'll become this. No, just begin by saying. One day I want to become this. Remember, as I said in the beginning, a dream is as far as your eyes can see. So the first thing, just take the step. However small, however big, just use the little resources that you have and just know you have the two main resources, which is time and your effort that you can put into it to convert the money to, yeah, to, okay. to be attracted. And also money attracts money. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for that money, definitely it will come for you if you're doing the right thing. So basically what you're saying is just use uh, whatever you have within your, your yeah. means and yes. just uh, what you can reach out for as a, as a startup or as, as an entrepreneur who's just starting up. So what kind of a background does one need to, to start up in a trend travel mm -hmm. business? Mm -hmm. What background did you have? Okay. The educational uh, background that is. Educational? Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. My case is so different, <laughs> Michelle. Yeah, okay. Uh, Okay, uh, I forgot to, to mention uh, I'm a third year. Uh, uh, I'm heading to third year. I'm taking a course in procurement and logistics management. All right. So the whole idea, I have a little, I'm knowledgeable about tours and travels, mm -hmm. but this is as a result of the passion. Okay. You know, uh, whatever, even as an entrepreneur, you should always major in something that you love. So for me, I had traveling as a hobby. So, uh, you know, a hobby is something you love, you're passionate about. So I just decided, okay, uh, every weekend, um, okay, I'm going to Nanyuki, I want to go to Mombasa. So I just decided. Like most young people, actually. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So I just said, uh, maybe, uh, maybe in future, there are mm -hmm. some people I would love to go with people on board and we're having fun together. Mm -hmm. So I began it. So this is as a result of passion. I, I just turned my hobby into, into a business. Into a business. <laughs> and I'm, I'm doing well. And it's I'm working well. for you. Yes, it's working for me. <laughs> All right. So our question of the day, remember you guys at mm -hmm. Y254 channel, that's where you can find us on our Facebook page. And we have the question, which is how can you raise money to start a business? So to you, Marcy. How did you raise your initial capital uh, for Boss Build Adventures? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Michelle. As I told you earlier, uh -huh. I told you it's not a must to have money okay. to, to start it. Uh -huh. uh, for me, it was just simple. I've told you I've worked with only two things, discounts and the commission. Uh -huh. So I would approach some, com uh, some so I approach some hotels, uh -huh. I tell them, hey, I, I, I have some clientele. And I can't, I, I can't do the reservation because I, I, I don't have the money. And uh, okay, for one thing, you have to be very honest about it. Don't create a picture that you're not. Be you. <laughs> so I just said, hey, I, this is what I have. I have like 10 clients and uh, they want to pay, but I want to be the agent here. So you'll give me the discount. And then thereafter, after they have left, I'll come for my commission. Mm -hmm. So I've just been doing that. I've just been doing that. Okay, slowly. Okay, so I have the money now. So I, I just decided now, uh, because it's very okay, then I can do it. At the same time, as a, as a young person, I, I can just advise you, like, don't go out there uh, throwing the money into the weekends, taking money to billionaires, mm -hmm. having fun, like, just have budgeted fun. Make sure you save. Uh, like, okay, if you, if you get something, always ensure that you save nearly 20% okay. for ahead so my savings have also been a great deal in whatever i'm undertaking the project i've just undertaken uh yeah savings savings and being honest
being honest and yes. save it. So how long have you guys been into business? Mm, okay, we began, the, uh, I've been in the business for nearly now, it's been nearly eight months, we began late last year. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, late last year, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we've just been trying to compete, not against any other travel agency mm -hmm. or tours and travel, but we've always been trying to fight against our objectives. Mm -hmm. You know, that is the right way you should go. Don't fight. We show, we show, wish others in the same thing, in the same line of business you're doing, wish them well. But inside you, fight and battle, compete against your own objectives. That way you can soar, Nini, you can, you can get to go higher and higher every day. And al always remember, in the battlefield, it's only you. And in you, you have to fight your inner self. Mm -hmm that tells you, oh, well, more, please don't wake up early to, today. <laughs> and then you'll just decide, no, I'll wake up early. You're already fighting objectives and you're already winning. Okay. Yes. All right, so just sticking to your lane and the vision of your own uh, business yes. areas. So I'd like to find out, uh, you've mentioned a couple of lessons that you learned uh, along the way. And you also, I'd like to take you back, you mentioned the fact of competition. So that means there are definitely Mm -hmm. other tour and travel agencies yes. and uh, I'll explain that what is your niche what is uh, uh, wha what's so different about uh, Bosveld Adventures okay about Bosveld Adventures uh, I think you heading towards the our unique value mm. proposition uh, exactly I think if I got it right so this is more about everyone else is doing this but what is going to make us uh, outshine and be the best. Mm -hmm. So the first thing, uh, every each and every tours and travel is out here, it's doing the domestic and others are doing the foreign. Uh, but the, 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 the main thing is that there's, in the, in the domestic, there's a general public and there are institutions. Mm -hmm. Not so many tours and travel go to institutions like, hey, uh, this is Boost World Adventures, uh, we have our packages, we can manage your school trips, we can manage your team building, we can manage your, your from four leave, living, uh, the incoming, the, the, the guys who are graduating and mm -hmm. stuff. So that is our main, that is our unique value. Uh, that is the main target where we're going. And we've been to uh, a couple of schools and institutions and because of COVID, there are some deadlines we haven't been able like to 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 beat or something there also you know but already we have we had it we had it right from the beginning mm -hmm. so i can say that I'm, st I'm 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 still stating uh don't try to compete with other people just battle against your objectives mm -hmm. because you never go wrong all right so for you guys being into business for uh, like uh, eight months that it is and uh, I've seen a couple of uh, <laughs> a couple of your uh, game drives a couple mm -hmm. of trips that you guys have, have gone to you guys will get to see them in a few but in those in the, that time frame of eight months and then COVID hit which is something that no one expected globally uh, so what are some of the things as a company that you have you've set aside to ensure that uh, uh, in future like a time of uncertainty that we are in that you actually will curb it and uh, you guys will be will be okay. okay. Some of the lessons that you've learned. Okay. Uh, the major, I have only one main lesson. Mm -hmm. The rest, uh, okay, the rest can be summed up by this one. I've just learned as an entrepreneur who is doing business and who wants to succeed, you should always have the bigger picture. That is, you should never have all your eggs in one basket. Like for now, uh, we only had uh, majored on our institutions, but for now, uh, we've been forced to go to another market, which was not in our initial plan. Mm -hmm. So I've just learned that next time, you should have to incorporate almost each and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, how, just have a thought. What if this happens? What if, just what if this fails? What is your backup plan? But for now, we're still working with our backup plan, which is now the current general public which is serving us quite well all right so during this time of uh, covid uh guys who have been working the employees at the hospitality industry uh the tour and travels they got hit really hard 
and uh, most people lost their jobs, uh, less earning that is plus that. So what would be your advice and uh, to just uh, this particular person who just lost their jobs, if they were in tourism, uh, to and travel or in any form of any other business, what would mm -hmm. be your advice to that particular person? Okay. <laughs> For this question, mm -hmm. Uh, I will welcome God purposefully. Okay. I'll just say that, okay, you know, things in life, mm -hmm. they just don't happen. They happen for a reason. And it will just take your own understanding to understand that God's timing is always the best and that God has a, has a greater picture for us. So if you tear back, back at home, uh, you just lost your job, uh, things are not working as they used to be, uh, just take this opportunity to just uh, have a meeting mm -hmm. with yourself, yes. just tell yourself that for the period mm -hmm. that you served, you served well. The first thing, appreciate yourself mm -hmm. that you did well in the, in the area that you had. And always remember, when God closes one door, it means he's preparing another door. Mm -hmm. So just be there, be hopeful. That is the best thing. Just be hopeful and just have a... Just believe everything will be okay. And at the same time, always remember, uh, it's always advisable to have a backup plan. Mm -hmm. A backup plan in that, you know, uh, we people, are, even our employees, uh, employers, they are human. They can wake up, they're also into business. Absolutely. And if something is not working out, it means he can't afford it mm -hmm. anymore. So it has come uh, to, uh, to a time that he'll just say, hey, you served me well, but for now, I just, I, 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 I can't. I'm because not in a position. Yes, I'm to not in a position to. So just have your plan, have a small business. Uh, if any, if you'll just start selling Skuma Wiki, uh, Apple, yeah, we, we actually have, an, uh, yes. we have a segment known as Ideapreneur where we mm -hmm. actually give uh, different sort of uh, uh, business ideas where people yes. can actually engage and get financial, uh, extra financial cash. We can make it uh, their full-time job. Yes. So I, I like the fact that you've said like, people should not give up. Right. Appreciate whatever you did, and uh, just mm -hmm. uh, think on. Just think quite mm -hmm. fast and ahead, and just look for something. But one thing, uh, yeah. one thing, Michelle, they mm -hmm. shouldn't forget is never be ashamed of your hustle, yes. because at the end of the day, you'll still need to get into your pockets. You'll just, you'll not get. Okay, there are people's com uh, comments mm -hmm. and sentiments about your hustle will never pay your bills. So, if you sell in skuma, just do it. If it's mtumba, just do it. Proudly. Yes, exactly. Dress to it. Mm -hmm. If you can even dress in a suit to go and sell skuma, mm -hmm. but they, ama. Uh, it's, it's a good marketing strategy. <laughs> For real, yes, people will really, yeah, because they will just be, come to you. They will know if they, <laughs> yeah. Michelle will sell Skuma Wiki in suits. suits. Yeah, so it's yeah. a good marketing strategy. So let's look at the package mm -hmm. uh, that uh, Boss Build Adventures has. Mm -hmm. And uh, also looking at this time of uh, restriction of uh, uh, just too much of gathering with mm -hmm. out there, just following uh, government guidelines just to ensure that uh, we prevent and just contain uh, the spread of COVID-19. So what are the packages we have? And how far can we go? Mm -hmm. Yes, tell us. Okay. Uh, hey, Michelle, we can go as far as we want to. <laughs> if we want to go to <laughs> Wasaymara, okay, so. we'll just go to Wasaymara. The right. thing is, okay, we also, uh, oh, okay, uh, the COVID has also made a blow to us mm -hmm. because uh, formerly, like, okay, even our 4x4, four four, the Jeep, the Land Cruisers, mm -hmm. uh, we used to have eight, but for now we can only take four. Or even less than four so uh we charging okay okay the only thing we've done is we have just made our praises to be more relative mm -hmm. and more friendly so that you cannot disappear into the market the name mm -hmm. we're just doing it to have to still have the to maintain the name uh we all our packages are ready uh from mombasa masai mara mm -hmm. the only package that is not available is one to go to tanzania mm -hmm. uh which will be maybe be made available in in Duke in some time. Uh, maybe some after while. first August. Uh, yes, no. international. No, no. no maybe uh, <laughs> okay. Late, late nearly September. Okay. Y you know safety safety first. 
right. safety first. So oh, I must say. Yes. Okay, so the packages are uh, we've, we've looked at Mombasa, mm -hmm. Mombasa, Nanyuki, we have game drives. Kenya. Yes. All right. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I'll give you one. I promise. After this, Aye, just I'm like giving that. you one. Just like, just that, like that. Your Michelle <laughs> has just got it to have uh, uh -huh. a, a good ticket for a game drive. <laughs> okay, so let's look at. Um, looked at the packages and uh, mm -hmm. uh, some of uh, what you guys actually offer. I'd like to find out uh, the the fact that there's so much going on right now and when you look at the business aspect of it you might just feel like drowning so I'd like to find out uh, do you have employees is it a, is it a team or coming together to just uh, uh, work as a group or how does it work? Okay you know uh, uh, again uh, united, we stand. Divided, we fall. Mm -hmm. For working as a team is very is always the best idea because everyone you can't be good in everything. There is always one person who is specialized in doing an, uh, something else mm -hmm. better than you can do it. So we have a team. I have a very nice, hardworking mm -hmm. photographer. I think he's very cute. Okay. <laughs> yes, he's a very nice photographer. Mm -hmm. uh, we so have his work, yeah. So guys mm -hmm. will get to check out uh, some of their uh, adventures mm -hmm. that they actually got to go to as, uh, as, as they take us through this journey, yes, you're saying? Uh, we also have uh, our, mar uh, our marketing mm -hmm. strategist. Mm -hmm. She's a very pretty lady. Mm -hmm. She, okay, she always has the plan. Our Moyo, uh, our... Uh, okay, everything is nice. The poster, the poster is already out. Uh, we have the brunchers. We're going to this school. Uh, we're having an activation. So the best thing you'll do, uh, just avail at four. We have a briefing. So it's a very nice team. Only have a photographer and a marketing strategist for their management. Uh, I'm their management. All right, speaking me. about marketing strategy and everything mm -hmm. else, I'd like to find out how did you penetrate into the market? Look at mm -hmm. eight months. Allow me to take you back. Yes. So eight good months, and you guys, uh, you were speaking about having eight vehicles. We're going for even uh, your adventures and everything else, game drives. Mm -hmm. Eight months, mm -hmm. we are looking at eight vehicles. And now, during this COVID-19, things are very slow. We are looking at four. How did mm -hmm. you guys penetrate the market, and how do you, did you tap to your own clientele? Okay. The best thing... Uh, uh, before you market, you have to understand what is your target market mm -hmm. so that you can easily penetrate to it. Mm -hmm. For us, it was institutions. Mm -hmm. So it was easy to entice with t-shirts. It was easy to entice with some little questions uh, about, about, about the wildlife, about tourism, and you have a t-shirt. So uh, we, we could just slash it. Uh, we had brunchers. Uh, we had uh, giveaways, our bayros our hoodies, our t-shirts. Uh, we also had, uh, we formerly had the introductory letters were, were, that were dispatched through various hotels, various schools, mm -hmm. establishing that, hey, this is Boswell Adventures, this is what we do, these are objectives, uh, mm -hmm. this is, these are our services. And mm -hmm. so it was easier to penetrate because we first took time to understand our markets mm -hmm. and what it needs and what is lacking in the market, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, so I know it might sound a little bit grim when I say this, but there's always an opportunity mm -hmm. in time of chaos, right? Mm -hmm. So I would like to believe uh, for in the tourism and the travel uh, business, there is an opportunity even during this time of COVID-19, especially right now there's no international travels until mm -hmm. the August of first, first of August, sorry. So... What is the opportunity that we have right now, even during this time of chaos? Okay, the best opportunity is more time. We have more time. In yes, the, we have the, more time. To our travel uh, industry. Honestly, okay. uh, I, I, I have clients mm -hmm. uh, who have been postponing. Hey, Wamoyo, mm -hmm. uh, thank you. I had booked it, but for now, uh, I'm required at work so urgent, so I can't make it. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can just, you can just forward my 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 book into the next to the next group so for now we've had so many so many busy busy the busy b employees who are now booking mm -hmm. they're also having their own time at the same time it has given us more time to strategize on on our to re-strategize on our obje ob objectives uh, it's during this period that we've we've developed our websites mm -hmm. again so it has also given us more time 
to get back to the drain board. Now, because, uh, because we, had, we had the whole idea before COVID, now we had to go back to the drain board and have the idea after COVID and during COVID. So it has given us time to re rejuvenate and get ready for the market. All right, so Marcy, I'm so sure that during this time, you guys have also gone back to the drawing board with mm -hmm. this situation. I'd like to find out, what do you think the, mm -hmm. the future, post-COVID-19, what mm -hmm. will the tour and travel look like? Especially right now, like you have to win the confidence of your clients, mm -hmm. uh, just ensuring their safety and everything, in every aspect of that. Mm -hmm. what do you, what's the future like of tour and travel post-COVID-19? Okay, uh, thank you. So the first thing, uh, post-COVID, we we're working on an insurance policy mm -hmm. that will ensure that our clients are safe. They're insured in each and every trip, uh, you get insured, like your safety is a guarantee. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, that's, I think that is the main thing we're working with right now mm -hmm. because the main challenge is about the health. So that is the main thing we, like we're working on. Uh, yeah, something, something like that. All right, as you wind up, I'd like you to use camera four and tell people back at home who are mm -hmm. planning for game drives. I already have a, uh, you, you, I have a ticket, right? Of course, of course, <laughs> of course. Where do you want the ticket? Masai Mara, Nairobi, where? Masai Mara, my dear. Okay, Masai mommy. Mara. That is okay. three days, two nights. Okay, so uh, for, uh, as people back at home are watching this, I'd like you to uh, just give them a vote of confidence of what uh, you guys are doing mm -hmm. and the measures that you are taking to ensure their safety using camera four. And also uh, probably give out your social media handles and also website and how people can reach out to you and see your portfolio of your previous work and uh, definitely get to look for that vacation with you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, another, okay, thank you. Uh, so this is it. Uh, the first thing you sure about when you you under you undertaking a game drive with us, or even just a team building, or even just booking uh, a trip, or even booking a car with us, the first thing you you have a guarantee of safety. I uh, have a lot of masks, but they we offer in them. Oh really? We, I give you. Uh, I'll give you like two, uh -huh. uh, and and then you can just change them. In the middle of the trip, you can just have another new one for the afternoon. Okay. That is something interesting, by the way. Mm -hmm. Uh, we also having when you when you get a when you get uh, when you get a trip with us, we also providing sanitizers and we also ensuring social distance. And you'll see in some of our pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing is safety. We're working on a very nice insurance plan that you can travel with us without uh, having to fear. Uh, what if? What if? What if? Mm -hmm. Yes. At the same time, uh, before undertaking a trip, we getting to prepare you guys like. Uh, watch okay we also having a chilly weather okay so we also taking people through okay this is how we expect you to be dressed uh some chicks like michelle <laughs> don't come here with heels <laughs> just uh, <laughs> have you have okay. with our bus <laughs> yes uh so our social platforms mm -hmm. uh the first thing you can get to our website mm -hmm. which is www.bosveld.co.ke it's a very interesting website and mm -hmm. it, cannot, it cannot disappoint you. Mm -hmm. You'll find pictures there, you, you can find a booking. Uh, we have uh, various packages. Mm -hmm. We have like, f like more than 14 in mm -hmm. different regions. If in Nairobi, we have trips for you in Akuru, Nanyuki, Nyeri. Yeah, we have a variety. All they have to do is reach out. Yes, just reach out. We'll be here to serve you. But they we're here to serve you. Quality. Okay. Uh, yes. So uh, you've given us your social media handle? Oh, uh, no. Okay. Wait. Uh, on Instagram, we both build. Mm -hmm. On Facebook, we have uh, our page, which is the travel agency page. Uh, you'll just find both build there. Thank you. <laughs> we're not members of Twitter, but they, we're not yet there. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should get on Twitter though. You should get on Twitter. No, maybe you could be trending and we don't know. So, but the trending is good. Yes, we'll just business. try. We'll just try. We'll try. Yes, I'll, I'll speak to the marketing uh, director <laughs> of uh, of yes. your travel <laughs> so we can just uh, have the Twitter yeah, Twitter handle mm. K O T. Exactly, that's thank the way you. to go. So, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for creating time for us. We we had a good time just understanding me. the cost of uh, COVID nineteen on the tu on the tourism sector and just looking at the aspect all round about it so guys back at home remember to follow us across all our social media platform 
that is at Y254 channel at Michelle Ashira is where you can reach out to me. Right now, we'll be going for a short musical break and we'll be right back. <laughs> 